Hello everyone. My name is Manu Putra and I am from Nizer Bhubaneswar. The po my poster is called a simulation and model for witnessing quantum effects of gravity using IBM quantum computer. We all have heard about the theory of quantum gravity, but there is no empirical evidence for so because the gravitational interaction is extremely weak to measure in any experiment. But recently there has been two schemes from both et al and Marley to et al. The both are quite similar to use quantum entanglement to show whether quantum gravity actually exists or not. Now let's discuss the scheme. And what we have done in our paper is basically introduce a quantum circuit to give a proof of principle demonstration of such a scheme in IBM quantum computer. The scheme says that we have two gravitational masses. So let's consider that gravity is a quantum entity. So that means they have a gravitational eigenvalues associated with it. Let's call those mass eigenstates. So the zero and one is the mass eigenstates and using a quantum mechanical phase E tau by H cut we are able to entangle those mass eigenstates. The details can be of the calculation can be seen in the paper. Now using star and like interferometry, we have first created a entanglement between the mass eigenstates and now using star and like interferometry, we are transferring this mass eigenstates to the spin eigenstates. So let's say we have an electron. It has both mass and spin. So according to our theory, it should have a mass eigenstate as well as a spin eigenstates. And now after we transfer the entanglement from the mass to the spin, we will measure the entanglement in the spin eigenstate using ent this entanglement witness because we cannot measure the entanglement directly in the mass eigenstate. We don't know how to, but we know how to measure it in the spin eigenstates. So what we do, the methodology of our work is because uh, it is basically we have proposed a quantum circuit to do such a to demonstration of such a scheme. It's a simulation model. So this zero and zero corresponds to the mass of the first particle and the mass of the second particle. The spin zero tilde is the spin of the first particle. This zero tilde is the spin of the second particle. We have created equal superposition in all four. Then we have entangled the mass of the first particle with the spin of the first particle and the mass of the second particle with the spin of the second particle. After this type of an interaction, we have used a, a gravitational phase inducing unitary operated U. And then we have disentangled the mass from the spins and only measured the spins. So if there is an entanglement after measuring the spin, as we say, the entanglement witness value is greater than one. So that means there's an entanglement in the spin. We can conclusively say that yes, there was an entanglement in the mass and that entanglement has been transferred to the spin. So this is the unitary operator that has been used. And in our work, we have proposed this circuit decomposition. We have decomposed the unitary matrices into four unitary operations and introduced the different parts of the gravitational phase phi in the system. And all the gravitational phases that you can see has been introduced in just the first two qubits, not the second two, uh, two qubits. I have nothing done with the second two qubits. So this is the full circuit. We have created the entanglement uh, from the mass and spin. Then we have created entanglement between the mass. Then we have de-entangled the mass and the spin and measured only the spin. And this graph shows a graph between entanglement witness and the relative phase. And if it is greater than one, so that would mean that the two masses are entangled. I mean, there is an entanglement witness between the masses and the spin as well as the masses. But if it is less than one, that would mean that there isn't. So if in this range, we can see that it is greater than one. And if we take the proposal by Marley and take the gravitational masses to be 10 to the minus 12 kgs, then we get coherence time of 0.46 to 0.68 seconds. And if we actually do this experiment in the lab, we will. And if we manage to have a coherence time more than this, we can show that if uh, the entanglement witness indeed comes to be greater than one for these values. Then we can conclusively say that yes, quantum gravity exists because the interaction was quantum in nature. That's why it created entanglement. But if in the real life experiment, if we see that this is less than this, then we will uh, say that no, no quantum gravity exists because the gravitational interaction that we used didn't create any entanglement. So that was the goal of our paper to using a quantum computer to show that how we can perform such an experiment. And what would be the parameters uh, required that has been figured out from our quantum experiment. So thank you.